So I just dispatched with a Twitter troll, and it was really easy to do. We were arguing over this uh, Target thing, and uh, all I had to do was say, you know what, Target just lost $9 billion this week. <laughs> so, you know, like, money talks and your shit walks. We're done with you. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say Yeah, I'ma do shit my way So you can go kick rocks I'ma stack bricks up Build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say So I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep, wonder but my body won't decay Cause my messages are timeless So they'll put them on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity For everyone internally I had some people burning me But now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with Truth Slinger coming at you, and I am fired up today. I feel good. I feel fine. Everything is just awesome. Uh, not working today, man. Finished up a big job yesterday, uh, a big, long book, and uh, it came out really good. Customer was happy, got a little money in the bank, and uh, I don't have to exactly make work my biggest priority first thing today. I have a barking dog. That is my dog, Mo. He is a feature on this program sometimes, and so he has uh, age issues and uh, a cough, I guess you could call it. We find it kind of annoying, especially when I'm trying to read audiobooks. So anyway, it's May 25th. It is day number 54 of Banana America, and that is 54 days since Donald Trump was arrested, fingerprinted, all that stuff. It's never happened before. So we live in a an officially a shithole country, right? So isn't that great? We want to remember that. So that's why we have that up there every day reminding us that we live in a shithole country. So what I started with a show with is very, very exciting news. And uh, I was dealing with some uh, trolls, man. I was, I got my blood pressure all worked up, you know. Uh, 
right before I got made this show, you know, all of a sudden my uh, notifications on Twitter start lighting up. Uh, and somebody is uh, giving me shit about the fact that, uh, that I was wrong, and so now I need to make a retraction, right? And I'm like, I'm totally fine with that. That's cool. Uh, I, d I don't have a problem with uh, making a retraction if I'm incorrect about something. So I will officially go ahead and make the uh, retraction. My understanding was that the target uh, issue, uh, the swimwear that was tuckable, my understanding was that that particular uh, bathing suit was designed for children. I stand corrected. Apparently, that was not made for children. It's just near the children's section. It's in the pride section. It's all lumped in with the kids' stuff. Next to the pictures of the shirts with Baphomet, right? Yeah, the, the Satan worship. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later in the program. But, you know, that this person's giving me, wait, why are you so upset? It's just colorful clothing. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not true, and I'm going to take you through this show, and I'll show you exactly why. That's, he's full of shit. This person is full of shit, okay? And they're lying, and it's an agenda, and it's a, and it's a lie that's coming straight from the pit of hell, which is the way we'll end up this show, right? Is near the gates of hell, because that's what's happening, right? Hell has been unleashed on this country and on this world. It's clear. If you haven't seen it, uh, um, uh, Franklin Graham actually said, you know, it seems as if all— the uh, demons have been unleashed. And I would say that, uh, to add to that, I would say it seems as if God has withdrawn his restraining hand, right, from evil. He said, I I I'm just going to, you know what, you, you, you've been, uh, as a nation, corporately, as a nation, you, you have been in sin, you have been um, murdering babies and throwing them on the altar of Molech and Baal, Right, and you've been doing this so long that I think God just said, "Hey, I'm going to remove my restraining hand from evil." And now we've got evil people doing evil shit out in the open, and we got sexually sick shit going on all the time. And you know what? I, and people have had it. People have had it. Okay, which is the way we started the show, right? People have freaking had it. Okay, and this just goes to show you. You can, this person can whine and bitch and cry and all that shit they want, okay? Well, me, it's just a rainbow, okay? Well, you know what? Nobody fucking asked us when they took the rainbow to begin with, okay? Who the fuck said it could be yours to begin with, okay? <laughs> all right? This is us taking our shit back, okay? And you can take your queer, weird behavior... And take it back behind closed doors. Because we don't want to have nothing to do with it. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have your own store on Main Street full of rainbow shit and sell all your crap, okay? But don't you come in and, and into the library and market your shit to our kids, the kids of this country, okay? The ones that are being educated by all the taxpayer dollars in this country. And then feed them this shit. This is, this is clearly... Oh, this is section. I, when I'm arguing with this person on Twitter, this is all about sex. This is clearly is about sexualization of children. No, it's not about sex. It's about bright colors and rainbows. Bullshit. What the fuck is Pride Month? Think, people. What is it? What the fuck is Pride Month? What are we proud of? What the fuck are they proud of? They're proud that they aren't like other people. In what way? In what way? Well, in that they like to have sex differently than other people. Oh. So we're going to make a whole fucking month out of that. We're going to make a, oh, let's be prideful about whose genitals we choose to put in our fucking mouths. Now, I'm sorry. I'm a he... <laughs> I know I'm using the F-bomb frequently today, but man, fuck me. <laughs> but you know what? This is exciting. I'm, you know, I'm like all riled up and stuff, but you know what? This is good because people are getting riled up and everybody's getting riled up, right? And I want people to get riled up and do it right. Do it just like this. Don't burn places down, 
okay? Just force this shit by total humiliation back into the fucking closet. Make this shit so toxic, so nuclear, that any brand that ever does anything or says anything remotely about sexuality at all gets crushed. I am so fucking tired of hearing about other people's sexuality. I didn't walk around my whole fucking life going, hey, my name is Tim and I'm a fucking heterosexual and you need to accept that. Oh, well, that's because I was the norm. Yeah, well, fuck you. It's not normal to go around and constantly parade your sexuality out there. It means there's something wrong with you in the fucking head and you need to find God and Jesus. Simple as that. Ooh, if you're such a Christian, why are you using that bong? Fuck you. Why are we rearranging the silverware when the kids are getting queered out there? Okay? It's high time. Okay, I'm not going to hell because I said fuck, fuck. Okay, fuck. Or anything. The only reason I'm going to go to hell is if I deny that Jesus Christ is the Savior. And bled and died on the cross for my sins. And until I deny that, I'm going to heaven. And I may correct my language as I go because I happen to be convicted of it. But right now, I feel like I'm trying to get somebody's attention. Okay? So, and we are. We're getting people's attention. People are getting pissed off, and they're listening to people like me and other independent news media, which is why you should like, subscribe, and share, and don't miss a damned episode and spread this message to other people is because it's having an effect. It's having the desired effect in one week. One week. Nine billion dollars in loss. That crushes a corporation. Okay, the shareholders start to get really pissed off. They feel the pressure. They feel the heat. Okay? Good. Right? It's working. A little cool down break. Right? Okay. I'm going to lose my voice. <coughs> and I can't do that. I read for a living. I sell my voice for a living. All right. So check out me on Truth Slinger uh, on um, Truth Social. Uh, support Truth Social. I think it's a good platform. I like it. Um, I like it. It's different than Twitter. I like Twitter as well. They're both good. Um, but follow me there. Follow me everywhere. I got a link tree. Uh, check that out in the header. And follow that link tree, and that will take you to every place that you can find me. Because that's what you want to do. So, here's me on Facebook. And this is out. I, I just decided to do this yesterday. I'm doing a little commercial self-promotion of myself. If you want to find out about who I am and go, okay, is this guy really a spiritual person? And is this guy really saved? Oh, shit, yeah, I am. Okay? And I want you to read it. I want you to read my book. And I'm not even asking you to buy my book. I wrote my book in a month last year, right? And I'm going to publish it. And, and my, my, my God, gorgeous wife is working on it, like, as we speak, trying to figure out how to get an Amazon. But you know what? We're also publishing other books, books that are going to be more of the money makers. And I don't expect to make money off of my book. I didn't write my book to make money. I, I was hoping that, you know, someday, some way, some way I can make money as an author and, uh, and now I figured out how to do that. So that allows me the freedom to be able to uh, bring this program to you, bring you news, and then uh, share my book with you. So uh, as a preview, I don't know if I'm going to publish the whole book uh, on my um, my uh, Substack, but I want you to come and check me out on Substack, okay? And as soon as my browser, yeah, there you go, I, I have uh, uh, uploaded the first piece, uh, it's called A Call to Arms, at least at this point. I'm not sure if that's going to be the final title. But it's basically um, a battle manual um, for the modern Christian uh, in this uh, present evil day and age. Um, and it's about spiritual warfare. And if you, if you are a Christian or you profess to be a Christian and you do not know about spiritual warfare and you are not savvy in the, um, in, in the ways of the... Uh, spiritual battle that rages around us. And if you're not aware of it, then you are at a disadvantage. Okay. And now is the time that Satan is going to pull the stops out. He's coming for us. He's coming for the Christians. This is it. This is the final push. If you can't see this, then, um, then, then you're not, you're, 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 you're not seeing things clearly. Your worldview is, is not clear. So 
Anyway, um, you want to read this book, and I provide it to you free. It's I, my, uh, my sub stack is free to all subscribers. Please subscribe so you can read each piece of this as it comes out. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, yes, I am a preacher. Um, <laughs> I preached the fire out of it, boy. Uh, but I'm the most unlikely preacher you'll ever meet. And uh, I preached, but, hey, listen, mm, I can preach now. I preach a fire out of it, okay? I, I didn't speak a, a single nasty word for, I don't know, six, seven years, I think. I went to seminary. I preached in a pulpit. I didn't even say the, not nah, nothing. Not, I mean, like, poo-poo, I said. Poo-poo, caca. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can, I can tell a straight line, but you know what? That's not what it's about these days. It's not. The, um, the, the world has progressed on, and um, the kind of Christianity that, uh, that, 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 that was 20 years ago was effective, it's not effective today. It's not effective. And I'm not saying change of the message. I'm just saying that we need to focus on what the important stuff is. And I believe I've done that in this book. So I want you to check it out, read it, leave me feedback, tell me if you enjoy it. I really am excited to share that with you. So this is what's going on with Target, right? Uh, this is just one store, but uh, my understanding, I may be wrong, but my understanding is there is a, um, a wave going across the uh, different stores, and uh, they're starting to go, wow, they're getting they're panicking, uh, Target is scared, they're getting crushed, they're getting the uh, full Bud Light treatment, which is exactly what they deserve. Bud Light, believe it or not, I, I, I don't have anything up here about Bud Light at the moment, but they're still getting crushed. Um, the beer, <laughs> the dumbasses decided to put a freshness date on it because they thought, ooh, ooh, our beer is a bit fresh, you know. Now they <laughs> have to live with this freshness date, and it's going past the freshness date. They can't give the shit away, right? <laughs> it's working, right? Finally, um, conservatives are able to go, you know what, we just had enough. And what it was was that they came for the kids. And the people are saying, oh, oh no, 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 we're not coming for the kids. Bullshit, you came for the kids. And I'll show it to you. And that's why people are outraged. And that's why people finally said, oh, yeah, screw you. I'll go to Walmart, right? I'll go to the blue store. At least they don't have. Now, Walmart has its problems. I, I, I saw some sex toys and shit in Walmart like six months ago or eight months ago. It was there. So uh, they're having their forays with wokeness as well. But at, at this point, they're safer than Target. Target is a crap hole store. Right. So you see the shelves, right? They're, they're, they're down. They're missing, right? They're, they're, the stuff is moved. Now, here's the misinformation. And I'll tell you this. This is a lie. i just tell you this. It's, 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 they started saying that there were threats. And that's why they moved all this stuff. Because we're uh, threatening and violent. No, 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 no. Scott Lobito walked in there with a camera, right? And a few other people walked in there. And the social media was going, and people are just starting to open their mouths and say what's on their mind. Nobody threatened any violence. It's a bunch of shit. They lied. Nobody's been able to prove it, and they've now retracted those stories. But still, yet still, you see all this YouTube shit out there because people don't retract stuff, right? They throw it out there, and they say that, and they never end up going back and saying, oh, well, we were wrong. And even if they did, they bury it somewhere, like real deep. You know, so that 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 you never really uh, under you know know that it was retracted. You you this the, once the story's out, then it starts bouncing around. It's out there, right? And and I hate doing that too. You know, I I was part of the uh, got caught up in the thing with the you know the child and the tucking. And if I'm wrong, then you know I'm wrong. There was a, a story just out last week. Somebody actually said that they were throwing uh, uh, veterans out of the New York City hotels in favor of the migrants. And I went with it. I did a whole show on that. It's not true. I deleted the show, right? I apologize for it. Sorry, it wasn't my fault. Uh, but, you know, things are moving so fast. We just have to deal with the information that we have. We do know, however, that this shit is not made up, okay? And, 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 when, and this Twitter troll is all over me like, Oh, you you know they 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 pull that conspiracy theory shit. Oh, you, you just you just think oh you, yeah, it's a fucking slippery slope. Are you kidding me? Look at where we were when they said we just we just want to just love who we want to love and get married, please. And we were like, oh, well, I don't really don't like it, but whatever. Just why can't you just have a fucking civil union, right? No, 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 no. We have to defile marriage. Okay, we have to defile it. No, we have to have your 
uh, religious marriage. Yeah, fuck you. You know, we got to go back to the way it was before. You're allowed to exist in this country, but other than that, I don't want you in my fucking face. Okay? I don't. God, I, 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 I don't have the tab. I don't know if I can find it. You know, the show's going to get too long. My wife just showed me an article this morning, for fuck's sake, just this morning, that a, a normal heterosexual man, if he sees two men kissing, it is equivalently to like gazing and looking into like a bucket of maggots. That's how disgusted we become, right? Well, does that make me homophobic? Well, fucking maybe it does. Maybe it fucking does. If that's what your definition is. Personally, I don't find myself scared by it. I find myself fucking disgusted by it. I don't want to see it. Okay, and you know what? I don't want to see teenage kids with their arms hanging all over each other at the mall going, nah, 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 either. That's not appropriate either. None of this shit is appropriate. But see, we've gone so far, fucking past whatever was even remotely goddamn normal. And I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm fucking talking about. Stay tuned. Please don't leave. <laughs> This is not all about Target, okay? Because there's another fucking num nut, num nuttery going on. You're not gonna believe this shit, okay? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Meet Patagonia. Patagonia. Now, I've been informed by my wife that Patagonia, Patagonia, is actually a legitimate outdoor sporting equipment thing that was North Face's competitor. Right? Excuse me. So I guess this name, Patagonia, is a takeoff on that, right? I get you. Whatever, funny. I don't know. Fucking. <laughs> My wife thinks it's funny. I don't think it's funny. Okay? I think what we got here is a fucking grifter. We got a grifter, right? And perhaps he's a f okay? But you know what? It's like, what? What? We're going to watch this little video in a little bit. But when did when did all of a sudden being gay involve wearing women's fucking clothes all the time? Okay? I remember when gay people, they were just a little swishy. <laughs> and, you know, but, I mean, what the hell is this stuff? Okay? I mean, for fuck's sake. And this guy, of course, has a, a mustache, and he doesn't shave his mustache. You know why he doesn't shave his mustache? tell you why he doesn't fucking shave his mustache. Same reason the fucking guy probably doesn't cut his own dick off either, right? Is because he probably likes being a man, okay? And this shit is a big-ass grift, okay? And moreover, it's a grift in many times, in many ways, to get to the children, okay? That's what this grift is all about. Now, I, I'll, I'll put up a meme in post-production of these trannies Full facial hair, sitting in drag queen story hour with children in their lap while they got lingerie probably underneath their thing. Or who knows if they're wearing any underwear underneath. Who the fuck knows? Don't care. Shouldn't be near the kids, right? But what, you know, what the hell is this shit? This is a grifter. This is a guy who's maybe he's a f***ing, okay, fine, he's a homosexual. Okay, I, I wouldn't want to slur the man, okay? He's a, he's a homosexual, okay? But now what am I going to say? I was a grifter. Now I'm going to get kicked off for cyberbullying. You know what? And fuck it. I, you know what? I almost don't care at this point. I'm like, if I can't say what the hell I'm going to say, and these people can put their shit out, and I can't get on YouTube and fucking laugh at it and say, this is a grifter. This person, okay, found a way to make money, okay, off of getting a, uh, um, um, a, a brand to sponsor him, okay, a sponsorship. And, and this brand is comfortable, <clears throat> comfortable at, um, uh, exporting this sexuality to children, okay? Oh, no, this is adult. This is an adult campaign. <laughs> you just watch, okay? Right? So this, this nonsense, this is like, this is the, plus this is the craziest shit I've ever seen, okay? I mean, what the, what for God's sakes, what is this, okay? Uh, uh it, 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 it. Okay, it, no, 
if I would see something like this out in the wilderness, okay, I, I wouldn't help it and it wouldn't survive, okay? Not dressed like that, it wouldn't. I mean, what the shit is this? This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, all right, enough. Patagonia, yep, summer of pride. Now, this is a whole, <laughs> this is a whole summer, people. This is a whole summer. We went from a month, okay? <laughs> now, come on. Look at this. We went from one month, okay? What the hell, man? Mother's Day. Mothers get a whole one day. Fathers get one fucking day. Okay? Uh, 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 gay people get a month, and now apparently transsexuals get the whole fucking summer! <laughs> See... It was never about, we just want our peace. We just want our, we, it was never about just, we just want to be who we are. It was about, we want to take over. We want you to not only accept us, we want you to celebrate us, and we want you to find us to be the normal ones and now you are weird and you are abnormal because you find this offensive. <clears throat> okay? We, we reject you. We reject this shit. Why? I'll tell you why we reject this shit. Okay? Because look. Uh-oh. <gasps> look at this. Now, people, this Twitter troll is going, well, the bathing suit wasn't for the little children. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I ran right to Google, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just a second. Right? Yeah. But I, I, I pulled this up. I said, you're telling me that this is not about grooming children? You're full of shit. You're full of shit. The North Face has also dropped its Pride clothing collection, which features rainbow-cladded apparel for children. Now you say to me, Tim, that doesn't mean we're sexualizing the child. It's merely a North Face jacket celebrating diversity. Right? Again, I tell you, what are we proud of for a whole month? What the fuck are we proud of? That we have sex differently than other people. It's all about the sexuality. <clears throat> and if you say, no, it's not, then it's not a thing. Then why are we fucking celebrating a non-issue? Dumb fuckery. It's a lie. That's why. It's not stupidity. They're not dumb. That's what makes me so mad about this troll. That's why I can't get mad about the troll. You can't I have to realize I will not convince this person. And this person is inconvincible because this person is not stupid. This person uh, has fought Satan as the, their father, they are, which is the father of lies. This person is lying, lying intentionally to bring about what it is that I uh, fear is going on. And do I fear it is going on? I, I would say more than fear it's going on. I know it's going on. Okay? This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Okay? This is wrong. This is wrong. And this is stupid. Okay? Because after the Bud Light thing, right? After the Bud Light thing, how fucking stupid can you be to decide to go on with your Pride Month campaigns, Target, and now North Face. How stupid do you have to be? Well, we got to keep that ESG score up, ESG, because otherwise the made-up organization that rates us and scores us will come along and we won't get 100% on our... We love uh, all uh, gay, pride, LGBTQ+, homosexual, queer -y shit, right? Queer fuckery shit, right? The score will go down. It's a ridiculous shit. This person is a grifter. This person is making money, and then they take off all their makeup and shit after they go home, <laughs> laughing all the way to the bank. Right, summer of fucking pride. Oh, Lord. Lord. 
Lord. They're going on tour across the country to like t 10 cities or some shit like that. And, and, and they're going to have lesbians making art. And, and you're invited to come. You, this is going to go over like a lead brick. <laughs> Dumb fucking people. I can't wait to watch their stock go down. I just can't wait. Right? All right. Let's listen to it. It, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Yeah. Uh, just let's just watch together. Come on. Let's just watch. Shall we? Nature lets you be who you are. Even gay. Hi. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, you are cordially invited to the Summer of Pride with my friends at the North Face. Oh. We're traveling all the gay across America. And everyone's invited. That means you. Me. And you. Hello. And uh, you. No. Wow. Not you, though. You're too cute. Okay, let's do some really bad mugging. Okay, just kidding. You can come. Oh, Put Jesus. on your boots and come out. Side with us. Come out. Side See you with there, us. Bestie. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bad. Don't you think this is all a little intense? I mean, look at you. You're in a literal tent right now. But no, this event will not be intense. Everyone is invited. Everyone is welcome. It's going to be so fun. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. It's not going to be really fun. Uh, everyone's not in, in interested in your stupid shit. Oh, hang on a second. You know? Nobody. It's a ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> we're done with you. Okay? And I can't wait to see this summer of stupidity unfold. I just can't. Because... Because if you don't get go woke, get woke, go broke yet, you will. And like I said, it's going to become so toxic that people aren't going to want to go anywhere near your shit. Okay? So this guy is the guy who designed this stuff at Target. Now, I told you that I was going to bring you kind of full circle and let you know what's really going on here, right? They, they, they quietly pulled this T-shirt which has an image of Baphomet on it. Now, it's all over the place. You can clearly see, right? This is the guy. This is the uh, person who designed the clothing line and all this stuff at Target for kids, right? And the shirt, the shirt says, Satan respects pro pronouns. So this guy is an open Satan worshiper. And Target thinks that's a wholesome kind of guy to have designing their clothing lines and to be associated with because they don't have any shame anymore, see? And, and this is all over the Internet. So, so they, they, it wasn't like they didn't know. It wasn't like this was an accident. It wasn't like they go, ooh, ooh, oopsie. Oopsie, we accidentally hired a Satanist. No, no. No, they did that, this out of the whole diversity, equity, inclusion movement, Right. I don't want this kind of shit included in society. What about you? I don't. And I think most people don't. I think most people that were shopping at Target were like, you know what? We don't want to see, we don't want this anymore. We're done with this. So, so let me see. Okay. Well, now then you say, well, no, nah, come on now. Now, now that real there, you, you're mainly making this shit up. This is just about the bright colors again. Remember you're, you're, you're just, you're being an alarmist, right? To which I say to you, again, fuck you. <laughs> you're wrong or you're, you're stupid or you're lying because all you have to do is go over to Google, right? And I put in baby gay apparel, right? And it's all up there. Sounds gay, I'm in. Well, what the, what does that mean? I can't even find the one that I had before or something about, uh, <laughs> Hot men or something, okay? Then there's this one, you know, this something about a butt. I don't even know what this says. Look, look, this, 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 if you don't understand, okay, let's go to images. If you don't understand that we're marketing sex to children or we're sexualizing children so that they're normalized to the acceptance, look, it was an, it was an abnormal behavior, okay? And... And, and it's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's different. It's other people choose to live that way. 
Yeah, it, it, it doesn't, it, it's, it's, that's not a problem, okay? But the problem is, is that we are grooming people. And, like, for instance, the other day there was a, a, a person who is a trans person and they have, like, three children and they're all in some form of transition or gender fluidity, okay? It used to be, like, one-tenth of a percent of the population had a... A weird feeling that they weren't like other people. And then there's just normal gay people. And back in the 70s and 80s, it was just, you, you're gay. What's well, fine, you're gay. Or you're a tomboy. Who cares a shit? But this, this, this push of, there it is, there it is. I love hot guys. Yeah, nice, right? Ho, 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 mo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong. This is wrong. You're all wrong. Okay, and this is wrong, and this is where it's coming from, is because it's all from Satan, it's all from the pit of hell. And anybody that says differently is full of el toro poo-poo. Okay? And the good part is, is we're taking it back. So, my show is about call to activity, it always is, call to action. I don't, I don't do this merely to inform and entertain you. I do this so that you can become involved in the war, the culture war, the war on truth, the war on reality itself. And you can help. You can help by like, subscribing, hitting the notification bell, all that stuff, so that you can keep up to what's going on. You can support us in different ways. And we appreciate when you do. And you can stop shopping at these freaking woke places. I mean, like, make it a mission. Now, look, I got to, for example, watch me and I'll watch Fox News for you. Boycott Fox News. Crush them financially. Right? I have to watch it because I'm a news aggregation service. And from time to time, I have to, find, I have to know what Fox News is doing. I also have to watch CNN. So unfortunately, I click on it and I support it. But you need to stop. And I'll let you know what's going on in CNN. Things <laughs> funny or important. I'll let you know. Watch here and other places. I don't 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 rely just upon me for your entire source of media. Like I get I get things wrong sometimes, and I don't cover everything. But I should be part of your daily diet of news intake and commentary intake, and, and helping to shape your worldview from a Christian perspective, and what you should. Uh, be paying attention to here so that I can bring you trends and things that are happening. And one of the things that's going on is do not shop at Target. And do not stop. Do not stop. Okay? When they get rid of that stuff, crush them more. They'll survive, or they might just go the way of Kmart. Who cares? Make it such that they don't have mercy. There should, they don't have any mercy. Have none. Have no mercy. It's a corporation. Crush it. Crush it. Stop shopping there <laughs> until, it's, until every store is just a big old wasteland and they got to make an um, indoor flea market out of the some bitches. Right? That's what we need to do. And, and you know what? Don't, people, and they're still not drinking the Bud Light. Good. You can't get a pass on this shit. You went there? Mm-mm. Sorry. We're going to make you such an example that until we, we're going to continue to do it until no other corporation will even think, okay, about going near woke ideology or giving a shit about their ESGA score. They're going to give a shit about their bottom line because they're not going to be in business anymore because they can't survive, right? And that's good news. That's all positive news. That makes me very happy. That's awesome. That's exciting. So anyway, long enough. Um, I got to go cut this show up. It was good to be with you today. Uh, remember, uh, just keep coming back. And uh, I'm True Slinger, and I'm out of here. Mm -hmm.